Kamega Senator Cleofas Malala and former Sports Cabinet Secretary Rashid Echesa have come out today to disagree with the Kenya-Uganda trade deal that President Yoweri Museveni and Uhuru Kenyatta had agreed on during the two-day state visit by President Museveni of Uganda. The two leaders have, come, have claimed that importing eggs and sugar from Uganda will sabotage Kenyan's economy. A two-day state visit by President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni into the country on Wednesday morning where he was received by President Uhuru Kenyatta at the Moi International Airport in Mombasa. So the two leaders hold bilateral talks which they termed successful. A day after leaving the country, the bilateral deals that President Uhuru Kenyatta secured with his Ugandan counterpart Yoweri Museveni continues to elicit mixed reactions with many demanding to know the finer details of the deals that will see, among others, Kenya allocate land to Uganda for the dry port. Kakamega Senator Cleofas Malala and former Sports Cabinet Secretary Rashid Chesa have openly disagreed with the Uhuru Museveni trade deal, calling on the head of state to solve the sugar menace that has been ongoing in the Mumia Sugar Company. We have a feeling hiyo bilateral talks imetumiza kwa njia hii na nyingine. Kwa sababu, mesikia ndugu yetu Museveni ya kisema ya kwamba sasa Sisi tumekubaliana na yeye serikali ya Kenya na Uganda yeye kuingiza sukari 90,000 metric tons. Na sisi vile mnajua tuko na viwanda zetu za sukari hapa nyumbani. Tuko na nzoya sugar, tuko na mumia sugar na viwanda vingine kule Busia. So we have a feeling hiyo 90,000 metric tons ikiingia hapa Na viwanda zetu vile saa hizi na ngangana kupata hata kwa kulima kupata pesa zao itakuwa shida. Hatujafurahishwa na ile mkataba kati ya Rais Uhuru Kenyatta na Yoweri Museveni. Kwa sababu kiangalia sasa hivi sekta yetu ya miwa iko na shida. Na bado Rais alienda akapeana na akafungua milango akasema kwamba Uganda ilete 90,000 metric tons za sukari hapa. Kiwanda chetu cha nzoia kifanye kazi. This even as the Amani National Congress ANC party youth drawn from the coast region have accused the visiting head of state of taking advantage of being the leading importer of transit goods through the port of Mombasa to get land for a dry port in Naivasha. <laughs> Led by party Kwale County Youth Coordinator Mwanasha Mazuka, they criticized President Uhuru Kenyatta's move to give land in Nakuru for a We are deeply concerned about emerging scheme to deny employment to coastal youth by migrating port activities and dry port in Naivasha. We are aware that this constituted the ministry uh, of the deliberations between President Kenyatta and Uganda's President Museveni. They just concluded two days state visit by Ugandan President Yoweri Kagutam Seveni, who is a big mockery to the country. He's taking advantage of being the leading importer of transit goods through the port of Mombasa to get land for a dry port in Naivasha. The move is a disparate is a disparate one and has caused panic as it is seen to be an economic sabotage to the coast and the residents at large. The youths who have shown their dissatisfaction following the state visit by Uganda President Yoweri Museveni have termed the just concluded two-day visit as a big mockery to the country. Jemuki